I would argue that the world that we're living in today is very much the world of Franklin Roosevelt. It's not the world of Joseph Stalin. It's not the world of Winston Churchill. Um, it's, it's the world of Franklin Roosevelt. Um, and we've been living through a period uh, in recent years when that world has been increasingly brought into question by uh, right-wing populism and by people who are embracing fear, uh, uh, fear of others, fear of the future. Whereas Roosevelt was very proud in saying that uh, we were united, he said, in banishing fear. That's what he called the New Deal when he was working with the American people. And of course, he famously said in his first inaugural address that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. So yes. part of part of what he attempted to do was to restore the confidence of the American people in themselves and in democracy, and in a sense, uh, in the free market system, which had collapsed in 1933, not only in the United States, but in much of the rest of the world with terrible consequences. I mean, it's, it is the collapse of the world's economy that brings about the rise of uh, fascism in Europe and Asia and the rise of Nazism in Germany. Um, and Roosevelt was absolutely convinced that uh, that um, uh, he had to bring the United States through this economic crisis in order to restore the people's faith in democracy.